am back again with another fresh episode. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on when you're seeing this video. Thank you for stopping by. If this is your first time, please subscribe, turn on notifications, share my videos. If you are an OG, thank you so much. I appreciate your support. You're the reason I am still doing this. Now, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Life with Mommy Sandra. Today, we are going to be talking about a very, very, very important issue that is underrated, and that is postpartum depression. I know we've been hearing postpartum depression, postpartum depression, but we are not really hitting the nail on the head. A lot of women are going through so much they can't even explain. Now, the question now is what is postpartum depression? Having a baby is a big deal. It is a real big deal because your whole life changes. Immediately from the time you get pregnant, you are no longer the person you used to be. Your life has totally changed for good yes for good but then there are other things that comes with it having making a baby bringing a baby into the world is going to affect you as a woman psychologically emotionally physically mentally financially and otherwise now that three basic types of postpartum depression and the first one is called the postpartum blues or baby blues yeah this is when a woman who just had a baby is feeling tired she's just crying like she will just stay and she will start crying you ask her why she doesn't even know she's feeling bad she's feeling like oh, can i even do this why did I even start this? This is going to be, this is not going to be easy for me. Now that is baby blues. A lot of women go through this one. Even me, I did. At first, I was like, ah, this is a very long journey. This is not going to be easy. But there is always God to lead us through it. Now the second one. Now the second one is called, is the postpartum depression itself now this is when she starts feeling she starts feeling sad she can't even take care of her baby she doesn't want to carry her child she starts every little thing irritates her she starts feeling irritated every little thing her mood is always swinging like you say something that is supposed to make her happy and she is sad she doesn't want to eat she doesn't want to talk to people guys this is serious at this point she is depressed she starts feeling guilty and generally she is not happy it can also make her not to eat most women with postpartum depression do not they cannot eat they don't have appetite to eat food guys it it's a real big deal it is something we should actually be looking out for especially if we have someone who just had a baby postpartum depression actually affect mostly affect first time mommy look out for any first time mommy around you check up on them and make sure that they are not going through any of those issues now the third one is called postpartum psychosis now this is when a woman who just had a baby few days or weeks after having a baby she starts behaving like she's not okay you see a woman who just put to bed behaving like she's going not she doesn't want to carry her child she doesn't want to breastfeed her child she doesn't want to she doesn't she generally doesn't want to touch her child you hear her saying things like carry this child i don't want this child I don't want this child. I regret having this child. This child is just, you hear her saying a lot of things, a lot of bad things about her child. She is even, most of women, the women who have postpartum psychosis, they attempt suicide. That is why we need to be, any 
what did you just put to bed? You need a family member or a friend around them 247 to stay with them, talk with them, encourage them and help them because those things are real. I have seen a woman go through postpartum psychosis. She refused to touch her child. People were literally begging her to breastfeed this child. And she was like, I don't want you people should leave me. Make can I carry this picking come on? I will kill her more. I will kill her more. Guys, this is not a joke. And if they had left that child for her alone, she would have probably tried killing that child. Probably. At that point, she's not actually to be blamed. She needs help. That is why she needs people around her. And I don't want and also a person with postpartum psychosis can have this feeling of shame probably because of the way they they had the child or sometimes they have this feeling of confusion they are always confused they keep something here and they don't even know they i've seen someone she had a baby she was holding her phone she was acting very in her phone very that but i'm like your phone is with you and when I asked, it was, it happened that she has been going through this memory loss thing, confusion and all that. All those things are postpartum depression. Guys, we should look out for our women. They are going through a lot. Postpartum depression can also be... You see a woman who just put to bed, she doesn't want her husband close to her. Please stay away from me. For weeks, she will just be hostile and annoying to her husband. It is not just, she's going through a lot, guys. I'm not trying to make an excuse for bad character or bad behavior because I know some women have bad behavior. But if your woman is not like that, she never used to be like that, and all of a sudden, after having a baby, she starts behaving like that, I think you should know that something is wrong. She needs help. It is not her making something is wrong these things are caused by hormones pregnancy is a big deal she just went through a lot and her life has changed forever so she's still trying to digest the fact that oh so is this really happening to me and that is when she falls into depression now the next thing i'm going to talk about is the causes of postpartum depression there are some factors that actually trigger this postpartum depression the first factor is lack of support when a woman from when a woman is pregnant guys please support her support her i'm not trying to say be giving her money that's not just the support come around ask her do you need me to help you do this you see when she has a baby that is why after a woman put to bed there is something we call omugo now the omugo is not just ah she wants to bring people the idea of this omugo is so that she can have people she trusts around her people who love her and trust and she trusts can be around her to help her with house chores and all that when a woman just put to bed she doesn't have to be all by herself she needs support from family and good friends people need to come around help her do things people need to be around her if her mom is if her mom is still alive or mother-in-law it is advisable that her mother comes around which is the idea of omugo another cause of postpartum depression guys this one i'm going to this one I'm going to hammer it very well because it is important. When a woman is in a relationship or a marriage that 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 is choking her, that is draining her, there is a very big chance of her falling into depression after having a baby. How can a woman be in a marriage when where her husband is not around her? Probably he's out there gallivanting or something. There is no peace in the house. Okay, even if you're not married, you you are in a relationship where your partner is not supportive, he is not loving, he is not caring. There is a very big chance of that person getting depressed after having a baby. 
so please dear partners when your woman is pregnant that is the time she needs all the support and love you can give try as much as you can to support her always be there for her call her even if you have bad character just keep it for that time please she does she does not need that your character at that particular time just try to be good to her during this period of childbirth if you're a husband be supportive try to avoid family conflict try to avoid quarrels and unnecessary nagging she doesn't need that at that time because that could trigger in the slightest quarrel can trigger postpartum depression she will start feeling like oh look at the person i am i had a child with the person does not appreciate me the person does not love me oh i wish i didn't have this child and see that is it so the next reason, cause of postpartum depression the third one is having a special need child or a child that cries too much now when a woman we already know what a special need child is a pet who is a special need child a special need child is that child who was born with with some issues or disabilities and there is no woman on this earth that will be happy to 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 get the news that ah madam your child is this or that or cannot do this or that it is so heartbreaking it is when a woman just had a baby with a special need she could easily be depressed because she's always thinking god why me why is my baby like this why is this happening and at that point if she does not have the right support around her she falls into depression she does most women who have special needs child do not want to carry their children you hear some saying i don't want some can even abandon the child in the hospital and run away it happens this is one of the cause of postpartum depression i pray that god gives every woman a very healthy and happy baby so that we don't have to go through all this now the fourth cause of postpartum depression is age a young when a younger girl most mostly girls of let me say 15 when a young girl of 13 14 15 has a child it's not always easy for them they go through a whole lot like i know yes probably they made the mistake it is done it is done at this point family just have to support them if not most of these girls kill their babies you ah, this is we see these things every day now you can just be passing and you see an abandoned child that is the cause of postpartum depression you i am not trying to glorify evil i am not trying to make excuse for people who are doing wrong but that is postpartum depression yes they are wrong for doing that but that is why they need people around them because if they have someone around you, they won't do that and if, before they think of even if they think of it and want to try it you you find that and you stop them so the next cause of postpartum depression is pregnancy complications or health issues now you can imagine a woman who just put to bed having issues health wise complications there is every tendency that she could fall into postpartum depression i use myself as an example when i had my first son i had a corpse and after a few days i already did a video about this you can go check it's in my i think it's the last video or the last two videos I already made a video about how my cut came undone. So my cut came undone, like the stitch loose, and I was in so much pain and all that. You guys, you can't believe what I felt. I was in pain. At that point, I was like, oh God, why? Like, I could not eat. I could not sleep. 
I was bothered. I was always calling. I was crying all through the day. I was crying because I was scared that something had gone wrong and can never be corrected. But thank God it was corrected. Now I almost fall into postpartum depression. If not for the fact that I had people around me and we quickly went to the hospital and the issue was rectified. Imagine if that issue was not rectified, guys. I don't even think I would have had the courage to have a second baby. So, when a woman has health issues, pregnancy complications, there is a very big chance of her falling into depression. That is why we should take very good care of our pregnant women and also encourage them to take their drugs always to avoid issues. And you know, when most women who have their babies and um, and their babies end up having issues. They are also at risk of having because juggling in between taking care of yourself and taking care of a sick child, it is not easy because at that point you as the mother you need help, you need rest. So imagine you not getting the rest you deserve, and you are you have to share yourself into to taking care of a sick child, and then you it's not always easy. That is why it is advisable to have more people around family and friends trusted family and friends around to help you with these chores yeah the next the next cause of postpartum depression is unwanted pregnancy unwanted pregnancy is a very very big cause of most postpartum depression in younger girls or ladies when a girl gets pregnant and the pregnancy is unwanted and for some reason she just has to carry the child for the full nine months and deliver after delivery there is a very big chance of that person falling into postpartum delivery that is when you see most children being abandoned at refuge dump and all that you see a young girl after having a baby she will um, she will pick up the baby and go throw the baby away, flush the baby and all sorts of bad news we hear about dumping baby. That's postpartum depression. Unwanted pregnancy. If you have anyone who probably got pregnant out of wedlock or whatever, always guide the person, talk to the person very well, guide the person, encourage the person to take care and keep the baby because most times most girls like that end up killing their own babies i tell you so please always guide and encourage the women the pregnant women around you no matter what the situation could be or is so now another cause of postpartum depression is difficult delivery guys when a woman has gone through a very difficult delivery like there is every tendency that she's not going to be herself for weeks it happened to my auntie she she went through labor for 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 three days and finally ended up having a CS. and guys i won't lie it would have been better if she had opt for a CS on time because she went through a lot it affected her psychologically emotionally physically she lost so much blood she was so weak she was so tired that even after the cs for seven whole days she was still confined to a bed she couldn't even move because the pain she was in pain and for those seven days she didn't even want to have anything to do with her baby she was so she was so much she was in so much pain thank god for family who was always with her spoke with her and encouraged her and after some weeks she came out of it and was able to hold her baby so guys these things i have mentioned are some of the causes of postpartum depression and should not be taken for granted please we should look out for our women and as a pregnant woman look out for yourself one thing i advise pregnant women is that don't think that having a baby is all rosy it is not a bed of rose there are ups and downs so so that when you start experiencing some of these ups and downs you will know that it is normal like you, you expect it and it is something that was going to happen 
it might happen it might not happen but just in case i don't think that i'm supposed to have a very smooth best experience i'm supposed to have it is not easy it is not if anyone tells these are the things people might not say it is not easy you have to go through a whole lot that is why you are a mother now without much ado i will be sharing with you some treatments for postpartum depression some good cool ways some ways you can be able to overcome postpartum depression be it baby blues postpartum depression or postpartum psychosis now the first way the first thing you have to do if you start experiencing any of the symptoms of postpartum depression is to talk to someone make sure you talk to someone be it your husband your mother your friend a doctor talk to someone don't take it in don't don't be like i got this no you you need to talk to someone because you need encouragement you need help once you start feeling mood swings you start feeling fatigue irritability you start feeling hated hopeless ashamed afraid confused you start hating your baby you start hating yourself or you start thinking life is not fair to you talk to someone make sure you speak it out now the second way to overcome postpartum depression once you get pregnant look for a mom group and join when you join one of all these mom groups it could be in any of the social media platform there people post their experience and talk about how being a mother has affected their life positively or negatively now when you know any of these things you are you are kind of preparing yourself to what you may or may not see after having your baby so i advise that a woman should join a mom and baby support group now the third thing is ask a family or friend to come around this is what I always tell people. Like me, one, once I know my delivery date, one week to the day, or even when I start noticing that it's like this baby wants to come and I call my mom to come. I call her, she has to come and stay in my house because I don't know when it will happen. I need all the support I can get. I know that, yes, but I need support from my husband and my mother. So always ask a family member trusted family member your mom your mother-in-law someone you trust and love to come stay with you it could be your sister it could be a friend who is trustworthy ask them to come stay so they can help you with house chores and talk with you and all that so that you don't fall into the problem. the next thing is the next thing is try to eat healthy meal make sure you're eating your food or the also hang out with friends once in a while hang out go out catch fun go out on dates with your husband just with your friends make phone calls video calls with your friends talk about everything and have fun that is a very great way of killing postpartum depression another one is see a doctor See a doctor when you start feeling any of these things. Make sure you talk to your doctor because your case might just be a very difficult one and you need medications or therapy. So guys, one more thing. I want you to know that you are not alone in this. There are a lot of women also who are going through the same thing and they are not giving up. I mean, it's not going to kill you unless you let it. So do not let it talk to someone when you start feeling any of those symptoms talk to someone hang out eat your meals and always know that motherhood is a great journey i mean yeah you are a superhero so thank you so much for watching thank you for staying please do not forget to subscribe to my channels share my videos they could be of help to someone leave a thumbs up if you like and drop your comments on your experience with postpartum depression thank you so much please don't forget to subscribe i love you